That's one more mechanism just so you're set up for reading, reading week here. So under basic conditions again, so base collides with the electrophile, electrophilic site. We're going to abbreviate all the rest of this stuff as just an aromatic group. So we're just going to call it AR. Okay, there we go. This step of the reaction at this point is perfectly reversible. So we just had hydroxide come in. There's the hydroxide with its bond there. There's the methoxy group. Methoxy, so an O minus versus an O minus leaving group. That first step is equally, either, either way this could go. If it goes in the forward direction, it's gonna be the methoxy group that's expelled. And often we ask ourselves a question what, whether an acid-base reaction is possible. And so here let's look at whether an acid-base reaction is possible with that methoxy group and the carboxylic acid. In fact, yes, we can draw the arrows for it. We can also look at what direction the equilibrium goes. So pK around five versus the pK of the other acid. around 16, 17. So that acid-base equilibrium is going to the product side. So this reaction, its common name is a saponification reaction used to make soaps out of fats. Is that ester was a common functional group in, in uh, is a common functional group in fats. So what we have here is an, equilibri uh, an equilibrium to start. Nucleophile can come in. Either could equally easily be expelled to go in the forward direction. Relatively reversible in the next step, that nucleophile could act as an electrophile. Excuse me, that nucleophile could react with the electrophile. But like we know, those acid-base reactions are super quick. So in fact, a more favorable reaction is that acid-base step And that acid base step is so fast, we can't stop it. So even if we want that carboxylic acid as the final product, can't stop that acid base reaction from happening and that carboxylate is formed. In fact, in the next step of this reaction, what we actually need to do is to put in an electrophile. So we need to put in an acid, not an electrophile. So that would be at the very last bit of the reaction. In order to form a neutral final product. And usually we'd use something like um, hydrochloric acid dissolved in water. So um, pK of, of uh, hydronium around minus three, pK of water around 16 and so that acid base equilibrium in fact strongly favors the product so that's when we get that carboxylic acid final product okay so it was the same general mechanism as usual nucleophile comes in make the tetrahedral intermediate tetrahedral intermediate collapses to reform the product this time though that quick acid base reactions not reversible not stoppable so the, this, this first part of the reaction lands at the carboxylate, and then in a second or separate step of the reaction, we would add in acid like hydrochloric acid dissolved in water, and that's what would give us the neutral final product that we could isolate.